it's a frosty day here in the North Country. Although not exactly cold by Alaska standards. The sun finally rose and burned off the fog. When I first began my pipe smoking journey many months ago, one of the first tobaccos I tried is Prince Albert. For those who don't know, uh, Prince Albert is based on a variety of tobacco called Burley. Unfortunately, <clears throat> it often gave a note of cigarettes when I smoked it, and I very much hate cigarette smoke. Recently, I read reviews of various Burley blends, and the reviewers indicated that they could get cigarette notes if they puffed those plans too vigorously. I realized that my pipe packing and smoking technique has improved since I first began smoking a pipe, and I decided that perhaps the problem is not with Burley, but actually between my ears. So, <clears throat> I decided it was time to revisit the Burley blend. I picked up another package of Prince Albert, which is available locally, and uh, I really enjoyed it for what it is. Not a single cigarette note. How about that? I also bought a bunch of bags of bulk Burley blends, and some other bulk blends like the uh, Balkan Supreme here. Among those are Haunted Bookshop, Old Joe Krantz, and some other more unusual ones like Crooner, which has Deer Tongue, and Shandy Gap, which is altogether different. Unfortunately, all of those plans I found to be harsh, and they actually burned my mouth. Well, I'm kind of a dumb ox when it comes to pipe smoking. I'm not susceptible to tongue bite, and I tolerate nicotine. So when I say this burned my mouth, I meant in the uh, thermal sense, like sipping a beverage that's too hot. So I was once again disappointed and confused. It occurred to me though, that um, I had a similar issue with a can of Cornell and Dealer's Bayou Morning last spring. Bayou Morning is a Virginia Perique blend and not based on Burley. Yet it still burned my mouth, it was harsh, and it had a sharp, sour note, which I found most unpleasant. I realized that all of those burly blends, as well as the Balkan Supreme, and the old can of Bayou Morning, were much drier than I would typically expect from a tin, or even what I found to be the case with the Prince Albert. So, I researched tobacco, hydration, and moisture content, found a great article by Greg Pease. I modified his technique for rehydrating tobacco, and to my pleasant surprise, every single one of those blends now smokes cool, and flavorful, and the rehydration did for the value morning what six months in one of these mason jars could not do. I really like these squat pint jars. They hold four fluid ounces, or if you're metric, that's 1700 degrees Celsius. They're just right for holding about two ounces of tobacco. They come in a box of four, which is great for storing and aging. But what I like best is that they fit perfectly into a neoprene fly reel case. This is designed to hold a size 7-8 fly reel, meaning a reel that is itself designed to hold 7-weight or 8-weight fly line. I just drop it in here. I can toss it in the console of my truck, it can ride along with Prince Albert, and I can take out a road trip 
no need to transfer to a pipe uh, pouch or anything like that. And in this particular jar, I have old Joe Krantz. So as I mentioned, I'm not typically susceptible to nicotine. However, the first time I smoked this, I was not feeling my best, and I was already dealing with a headache. At the end of the bowl of this old Joe Krantz, I was feeling lightheaded, and I believe in giving credit where credit is due. So here is a virtual tip of the hat to old Joe for landing a punch on this old dumb ox of a pipe smoker. Wherever you are, I hope you are warm, and I hope you know God's love, joy, and peace today.